Good news for all night owls out there. There may be a reason why it takes us longer to get out of morning grogginess, especially during cold winter mornings. Research done on fruit flies shows that a special batch of neurons sensitive to outer temperatures sort of suppresses other neurons in charge of morning activeness. Here's what you need to know. A new study published in the journal Current Biology shows scientists have identified a thermometer-like circuit of neurons that inhibits neurons in a fly's brain that activate alertness, particularly in the mornings. Neurobiologists from Northwestern University found receptors in the fly's antennas that respond to temperatures below around 25 degrees Celsius, or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. The main recipients of these neurons are another batch of brain neurons. These neurons are part of a larger circuit of brain cells that are in charge of regulating wakefulness and sleep rhythms. When the circuit of neurons is activated due to a decrease in external temperatures, certain neurons that are normally activated by morning light are shut down. So in essence, as the day gets colder, something that happens usually at night, neurons in charge of alertness are inhibited by another batch of temperature-sensitive neurons, meaning morning fruit flies equal dizzy, woozy, and tipsy fruit flies. Animals often play an important role when it comes to scientific discoveries, but sometimes it can go too far. Mad scientist made a step toward perfecting human mice chimeras. Scientists have engineered mice that have up to 4% of their body made of human cells, or the highest amount achieved in human mice chimeras, according to a study in Science Advances. To create the chimeras, scientists took human stem cells and chemically suppressed a protein called mTOR for three hours. This forces the cells to revert back to the naive state, which enables them to grow inside mice embryos. As the embryos matured, researchers found the tissues that would become the heart, liver, and bone marrow to contain human cells, which were also found in the blood. Science News reports the technology may help scientists to use chimeras as a source for human organs. Scientists did not detect any trace of human material in the cells that would develop into my sperm or egg. This eliminates ethical concerns of chimeras capable of reproduction. But why not make a 4% spider-human chimera? In other insect news, malaria has been cured. For mosquitoes? Scientists may have found a natural cure for malaria, but it works on mosquitoes. You heard that right. Researchers in Kenya discovered a microbe that can completely prevent mosquitoes from carrying malaria. According to the study published in Nature Communications, the microbe could be used to check the spread of malaria around the world. BBC reports that malaria kills 400,000 people every year, and most of the victims are children. The research teams from the UK and Kenya found that the malaria-stopping fungal microbe called Microsporidia MB was present in 5% of the mosquitoes they sampled. The fungus grows in the genitalia and digestive system of mosquitoes, and the data suggests it is 100% effective in stopping malaria from infecting mosquitoes. Speaking to the BBC, the authors say they do not as yet know how the fungus stops malaria. The paper's lead author, Jeremy Heron, says at least 40% of mosquitoes in a region need to be infected with the fungus to curb malaria transmission. While other strategies to defeat malaria have been proposed, such as using genetically engineered fungi to exterminate mosquitoes, the researchers say utilizing microsporidia would not endanger species that eat mosquitoes. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.